Hey what's up everybody, today we're here to discuss tips for choosing a body surfing wetsuit. So as you can imagine, it's obviously a little bit different choosing a uh, wetsuit for body surfing because we are completely submerged in the water all of the time. So um, it has, and obviously we're also very, we need a lot of flexibility because we're swimming a lot. So um, you've got a little bit of difference between choosing a wetsuit for body surfing as you would for uh, for surfing. Although both of them, if you choose a good body surfing wetsuit, you're going to have no problems with it if you're surfing or stand up paddle boarding um, because basically it's just going to be a far better wetsuit because you've actually taken some time to actually choose the right wetsuit. Uh, so there's four different things uh, that we like to look at when we're choosing our wetsuits for body surfing. Uh, materials, uh, we look at fit and flex comfort and then of course warmth. Now warmth obviously the most important thing because that's why you're wearing the wetsuit. So let's look at materials, right? A lot of people don't realize you can actually get a couple different materials uh, when choosing a wetsuit. Now obviously we've got the neoprene which is the most common is something that is a petroleum based um, product. It's been used since the beginning of time on wetsuits. Basically that's pretty much the standard of what you're going to get for a, uh, a, a wetsuit. So when you're looking at most of the brands, most of them are going to be based on, on neoprene. Uh, there is also geoprene. Now geoprene is actually a material that's formed from shale rock or limestone and um, is also a material that they're using. It's a lot more eco-friendly and Companies like Matusa are, are using them, and I think Patagonia also make a suit with, uh, with Geoprene. So the next thing you really want to be looking at, um, as far as materials is concerned, is the thickness. Uh, wetsuits come in different kinds of thickness. Now you can get a 1-2, a, a 3-2, and a 3-4, all the way down. So wetsuits are actually based on millimeters. Um, I have no idea why, they just are. So we actually do a an article that will show you sort of like a gauge of what, what thickness to wear for what temperature. The next thing you want to look at, which is uh, quite important actually because it will dictate whether you get a, uh, what thickness your neoprene is going to be and that's the inner lining. So a lot of people don't realize you get inner lining and the inner lining can stretch all the way down the entire suit and it can just be in sections probably um, for the most part just the um, the chest area and uh, kind of covering vital organs but if you get a really good one you can get one that goes all the way down. I know Patagonia does a merino wool one it stretches the entire, entire area, um, entire body and it is snug as a bug. It is really good. So, um, the difference with having an inner lining is that what will happen is it actually keeps your body a lot more uh, water free. Now the whole purpose of a wetsuit is actually not to keep you wet, it's to keep you dry. So the more that, the, that a uh, wetsuit can, can repel water, the better. Water is 28% more likely to wash away heat than air is. So you really want to get a suit that actually repels water and doesn't suck it in and, and um, uh, you know how they say like wetsuits are supposed to uh, warm that that um, that sort of coating of of uh, water between you and the and the um, and the wetsuit. Well, the most important thing is to actually keep that water away from you. And the lining is what does it. Now, there's a couple different kinds of lining. There's merino wool, um, as I mentioned before. That's probably the best that you're going to get and the most expensive. They actually run in the seven or eight hundred uh, mark as far as wetsuits concerned. But I cannot tell you how warm they are. Uh, the next is poly fleece, which is a lot more um, kind of commercially um, accepted and, and used in, in the, um, by the different brands. This is actually a poly fleece here. Um, it's really good at wicking away. So. Honestly, like definitely, if you haven't got the money to go for a uh, merino wool, then poly fleece is definitely your next down there. Uh, there's also dry cell, which is done by Excel wetsuits, which uh, they've just developed. 
or have been developing over the last few years. Um, and you can definitely check that out. Excel um, do some great videos on just how that works. Um, but generally the poly fleece is um, what you're going to find from most of the brands. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is fit. Okay, so obviously this is, you, you can get the best wetsuit in the world with all the merino wool lining and the geoprene and all that stuff, but if it doesn't fit you properly and it's baggy on you, it's completely pointless. So you really want to get a good fitting wetsuit. I cannot say it enough. Okay, so when you go, um, and our biggest tip for this is all the brands, they make different wetsuits and the way that they make their wetsuits may differ and so sizing then differs. So what you want to be very careful of is trying on the wetsuits before. Don't just go online and say, oh that's my size, I'm going to grab that one. Go to the store, spend some time, do some research, go to the store, try it on. Try, it, try on different sizes, try on um, the different kind of um, uh, models in the different uh, brands. Go to different brand brand uh, places and try them on. Find the one that actually fits you the best. Now, really, what you want to do is you want to feel, be able to be able to move. Okay, you really um, you want to be able to feel that flex. Remember that as body surfers, we're doing a lot of swimming, we're doing a lot of movement in the water. So what's what you don't want to be doing is constricted. You want this area over here around your shoulders you want a lot of flex over here you also want around around this area not so much around this area more around the top and around your because there is nothing more tiring than trying to fight every single stroke that you do yeah that's our biggest tip is definitely try on beforehand and make sure that the fit is perfect because it's like as far as um, the warmth is concerned it's just the water's going to go straight in it's going to flush down the back if it's too big if it's too small it's going to constrict and you're not going to be able to move properly. Uh, the next thing we want to look at is um, these are more honorable mentions than anything and this is kind of what keeps uh, keeps you dry is stitching. Okay, Now this is something uh, I grew up in the tropics so I never sort of up until I was about 18 or 19 and went surf traveling I didn't need a wetsuit and so you know this was very new to me as far as like I would just always do exactly what most people do is, is just buy a wetsuit and I really didn't um, kind of take the time to do research and think about you know what it was needed in a good wetsuit and one of the things I once I had done all my research um, and I bought uh, a few suits that didn't work um, kind of broke down really quickly is I started to look at you know why it is that those were doing it and a lot of the reason was stitching. So there's a couple different kinds of stitching. Uh, the most common of which is the blind stitch and um, there's also an over stitch. The blind stitch, um, and we'll give you a close up of this, but the blind stitch is essentially a stitch that then stitches the panels together and then it's glued down there. Um, and so that's a fairly common on a low end wetsuit. Now the the, uh, the stitch that we recommend all the time and something that you really want to look at is a double stitch with a um, with a glued seam and a um, and basically a uh, a liquid seal over the top of that seam. Now, basically what is happening with the liquid seam over the top is it's not allowing any of the water in. Remember how I said you want to keep the water away from you. It's not about sucking the water in. It's about keeping the, way, uh, the, the water off of your body. And with these liquid seams does an amazing job. These are both exactly the same wetsuit as far as um, thickness of neoprene but this one is by far more, uh, by far warmer than this one simply because it has the liquid seams this does not and this also has a lining in it and this does not so uh, it's kind of almost night and day you can go out in the same temperatures this one will let you down and this one will not um, so the next thing you really want to look at is I'm sure you guys have seen if you're actually doing some research on wetsuits is um, the zippers. So you'll notice some zippers are on the front, some zippers are on the back. Uh, I personally have, I, I tried once, I tried a, uh, a front zipper and loved it just because of the warmth. 
um, and I've kind of never looked back from there. That's just a preference. Zippers, honestly, like the the back zipper. If you get the newer the newer versions, wetsuit uh, manufacturing has come on so far in the last few years that uh, you know the difference between a, a back and a front zipper is very minimal. Um, however, I definitely feel that there is less um, flushing, and flushing is when the water goes down the back of your neck, which is like the worst thing in the world. Um, so. I find that I get a lot less of that with a front, um, with a front zipper. So these are the different things you you know want to take a look at when you're trying to choose a um, wetsuit for body surfing. Uh, the probably the most important thing is you really want to get a good um, flex to comfort. Um, uh, flex to, to warmth, sorry. So you really want to look at a wetsuit that will give you a lot of movement, a lot of flexibility, but it will also keep you really warm. So our top tip is to definitely look at the um, inner lining and get possibly either a, um, you know, a uh, poly fleece or if you can afford it, a merino wool inner lining. And that way you can get a lot. You can get a thinner wetsuit, say a two-three, that'll be just as good as a three-four in in uh, in cold condition. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, and hope you enjoyed this.